On this episode of Demystifying Medicine, we are going to be covering what you need to know about cocaine. Cocaine, also known as coke, is an addictive stimulant drug, which means it increases energy and alertness. It is often used as a recreational drug and causes short-term effects such as a loss of touch with reality, intense feelings of happiness, sweating, dilated pupils, agitation, and increased heart rate and body temperature. In Canada, 12.5% of individuals aged 20 to 24 and 10.9% of individuals over 25 use cocaine. More people are admitted to emergency rooms for cocaine-related issues than any other illicit substance, and of those individuals, 68% had more than one drug in their system. Now you may be asking yourself, how does cocaine affect the brain? Well, the part of your brain called the ventral tegmentum releases dopamine, and dopamine is a part of the reward system and binds to dopamine receptors in the brain to allow you to feel pleasure and euphoria. Dopamine is released from presynaptic neurons and travels through the synaptic cleft to dopamine receptors on postsynaptic neurons, which triggers the good feeling. Normally, excess dopamine would be reabsorbed back into the presynaptic neuron by a dopamine transporter. However, when cocaine is present, it binds to the dopamine transporters, preventing dopamine from being recycled back into the presynaptic neuron. Therefore, dopamine continues to bind to the receptors, stimulating a response. Dopamine then makes you feel energized, alert, and happy. However, you only feel these good feelings for about 5 to 90 minutes until your dopamine levels start to decrease at which point you feel irritable, paranoid, restless, and apathetic. You then start to experience extreme depressive symptoms. And since it takes a while for dopamine levels to normalize again, during that time period, individuals use cocaine to experience those good feelings again. This is why cocaine is very addictive. Over time, cocaine even causes your brain to become less sensitive to dopamine. Therefore, individuals become highly dependent on cocaine and require larger amounts of cocaine to continue experiencing the same effects of a dopamine high. This addiction can then cause cardiovascular issues such as disturbances in heart rhythm and heart attacks, neurological issues such as seizures and comas, and gastrointestinal issues such as abdominal pain and extreme vomiting. Cocaine-related deaths are often a result of cardiac arrest or seizures. Some potential future treatments include a natural bacterial enzyme called cocaine esterase, which is a drug that could help stop the effects of cocaine during an overdose and help treat addiction. This enzyme helps to break down cocaine in the bloodstream. The enzyme is only functional for 24 minutes at body temperature. However, that is not long enough to treat an overdose or an addiction. Therefore, researchers are trying to add mutations to cocaine esterase to extend the time it can stay functional in the body. The enzyme needs to remain circulating in the bloodstream for a few days, blocking the cocaine high. Thus far, mice have been injected with cocaine esterase and have survived lethal doses of cocaine for an average of 94 hours. However, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done for this enzyme to be used to treat cocaine addictions in humans. Furthermore, scientists are currently creating a vaccine that could help reduce the risk of relapse. The vaccine stimulates the immune system to create cocaine-specific antibodies that bind to cocaine. The antibodies prevent cocaine from binding to dopamine receptors. There is still no current medication available to specifically treat cocaine addiction. However, cognitive behavioral therapy is an effective approach for preventing cocaine relapse, as it allows addicts to recognize the situations in which they are most likely to use cocaine, avoid these situations, and learn how to cope effectively with their addiction. In addition, therapeutic communities are drug-free residences in which people in recovery from substance abuse disorders help each other to change their behaviors. Also, contingency management are programs in place that use a voucher or prize-based system that rewards patients who abstain from cocaine use. The prizes encourage healthy living and often include gym memberships, movie tickets, or dinner at a local restaurant. If you or a loved one is suffering from a cocaine addiction, here are some resources that can help. 